So, you wanna make those famous Star Trek stars? Hey guys, one bad touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create some Star Trek E stars. And it's it's really super simple. We're gonna get rid of Default Cube. I'm so sorry, Default Cube. We'll do something with you very soon. We'll go ahead and uh, select my camera and then hit Alt G and Alt R to clear the rotation and location. Middle mouse button pan around my scene. We're gonna hit RX 90 on my numpad. Left click to confirm that and then hit G Y to move the camera back. Now, uh, we're gonna move back a little bit further than this actually. I'm gonna scroll out and we're just gonna, yeah, somewhere around there maybe. And maybe even further. We gotta, we gotta get pretty, pretty far back for today's tutorial. We'll do something like that, I guess, yeah. And we're gonna get rid of the lamp because we don't need the lamp. We'll hit delete and we'll get rid of that. Alright, zero on my numpads going to the camera's view and we're gonna hit shift A and add in a mesh plane. Uh, RX 90 on my numpad to rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. Left click to confirm. And S to scale. Now we're going to scale this bad boy up pretty big. Somewhere about right there maybe. And we're going to add some particles to this. But before we do that, let's go ahead and add in our stars themselves. So we hit Shift A. Add in another plane. Mesh plane right there. And then we'll move this by hitting GY a little bit uh, behind, the, behind the plane right there. So you can't see it later on. And we'll just move it like that. Uh, S, X to scale on the X axis, make it super thin. Period on my numpad to, to zoom in a little bit closer. Um, and what we're going to do is with tab to go into edit mode. And we will go ahead and grab the loop cut tool. Loop cut once in the center lengthwise, not short ways, lengthwise. Uh, once right there, then hit S, Y to scale on the Y axis to make it kind of sharp and pointy, you know. Something like that. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this a couple more times, so let's add a material to it first. Let's go ahead and go to the Material tab, uh, open up that material right there, and we'll change the surface from Principal BSDF to Emission, and then make sure that color is on white. We'll hit Shift D, G, X to move it on the X axis, and then we'll hit this little three icon, um, and we'll change this name to uh, Light Blue, because I want to do some color variation just ever so slightly if you want some color there we go um, and we'll change that light blue color to a light blue color the same thing once again shift D G X uh, hit that two icon and then we'll just do regular blue uh, and then we'll just change it to a darker more not really regular blue but just like a royal deep you know more ugly blue more saturated whatever um, we'll go to the rendered uh, viewport change so we can see those colors. They look pretty good. Looking pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift to select all three of our star stabby things. And we'll go ahead and right click and add this to a collection. We'll hit move to collection. And then we'll create a new collection. We'll just call this stars. And we'll hit OK. So we now have a new collection over here, which is pretty much like a group before if you're used to old Blender. Um, it's like a group. It's the same difference pretty much. It's just called something different and it you know, looks a little bit better and we can uh, hide them all and move them around and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go back to our big giant plane now, which is going to be emitting all of our stars. We'll select that. Then we'll go to the particle tab right here, which is way up here. Um, and then we'll hit this little plus icon call the particle system stars just because I like naming things um, and this right here as well uh, we will change the number of stars for now to 10,000 which is probably not going to be enough it, it could depending on what you want but I think we're going to do something closer to 100,000 a little bit later on but for now we'll leave it at 10 uh, and I also want to go ahead and go down to viewport display and go display at, no not viewport display render sorry uh, then we'll go to render as and then we'll go to collection, not object, collection, and then we'll choose the instance collection, which is our stars. Now, when we play the animation, you can see that, well, you can't really see what's going on, but trust me, those are the stars. If I zoom in, you can see they're not rotated the right way, and they're falling down, and they're not shooting out, but we'll fix that in a second here. So, we can get rid of all of that. We can downsize all the render viewport tab there. Um, and we can go down to velocity, up to velocity, rather and change the normal to something insane like oh man probably more than a thousand we're gonna do that for now and then we'll go down to actually we will go to the render tab because we need to scale this up a little bit so we'll go back to render and we'll change the scale to oh man uh, it's too big uh, six no 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 six not sixty five uh, three we'll do three for now we'll do three for now maybe two 
two. Yeah, two looks fine. We'll do two, and then we will go ahead and go on down to... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What should I do first? Okay, let's go ahead and do this first. Let's go ahead and go to rotation. Click rotation on, and when we play this, you can see now they are shooting out and they're rotated the proper direction. Now, if I go to if I zero to go into the camera's view, it looks like this. It's way too fast, so the normal for velocity needs to be turned down uh, by a lot. So let's go ahead and do that now. Also, uh, if I play this, you see that they're kind of well. You can't really tell, but let's go ahead and put the normal velocity on a hundred, and then you can tell easier. They're kind of arcing downwards, and that's because we still got gravity on these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and downsize rotation. Um, we can just go ahead and go down to force no feel weight sorry and then turn gravity all the way down to zero so now they just shoot straight on out like that like a bullet um and the normal is too low now so actually let's go ahead and turn it to maybe 200 to 200 yeah and i think that'll be I think that'll be fine i think the size is too big that's what's throwing me off now so let's go back to render um and turn the size to one yeah one looks much better uh, all right, so uh, I'm going to turn my in frame to 150 uh, down here, right here on the uh, timeline. And then up at the top here, I'll also turn my in frame for the particles to 150 as well. And I'll turn the lifetime of the particles to 25 because they're shooting out so fast, they're already past the camera by the time they're in the shot for 25 frames. In the, in the world for 25 frames, rather. So, uh, looking pretty good. I think the normal is a bit too high still for the velocity, so maybe 150. Um, yeah. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, so I'm going to turn, I'm going to go to the world tab here and turn the color to solid black, obviously, because, you know, that's what space looks like. Um, looking pretty good already. We got a couple more things to do, though. I'll select, I can't see anything, turn my overlays back on. I turned it off, by the way, by hitting this little button up there. Uh, now, with our plane selected, we'll go back to the particle tab here and go to velocity and change the randomize to one instead of zero. Now we have a little bit of sway on these particles. They don't stay exactly in the same exact spot as soon as they come out of the plane. This looks insane, by the way, um, but it, it, it looks good when we're done. Well, uh, we'll go ahead and go to, what else do we have to do? I think that's pretty much it, actually. If you wanted to do some Oh, that's what I was doing. Oh, yeah, I wanted to make it. If, if I want to scale this up, hit S to scale it up. And I want to move our camera back just a little bit more. So we'll grab that camera, G, Y, move it back even more. Um, and then we'll select the plane once again. Now, I want this to be super huge. So something like that, maybe. Ooh, and this, I think, are these the... Where are the three? You know, these are the three over here. So we're good. We're good. I'm going to turn my start frame to, to zero. So we can get rid of that little one uh, star that was coming up. Ooh.